Hey guys, welcome back to Bronx's Math Club. Today's topic is whole numbers divided by decimals. Now this is a very easy topic and the reason being is that all you're doing is taking a whole number as your dividend and dividing it by a decimal divisor. Now keep this in mind that whenever you're dividing with decimals, your divisor, which is going to be a decimal in this case, you need to first convert that from a decimal to a whole number. So at the end, you're going to be left with a whole number by a whole number, and whole number by whole number division is very simple. So, so that's why this topic is also very simple. So as long as you take it step by step, you will find your quotient, and it's really easy. So stick with me, okay? So today I'm going to be using the problem 24 divided by 0.5. 24 is our dividend, which is a whole number, and our divisor is a decimal, which is 0.5, okay? Now, in order to do this, first we need to convert our divisor, which is 0.5, into a whole number. And how we can do that is by moving the decimal point in this number, which is over here, from left to right. Now, why do you move it from left to right? Because when you move a number from left to right, the decimal point, it increases, and every time you move it, it multiplies by 10. So if you were to move the decimal point in 0.5 once from left to right, you would increase the value 10 times. So first, it was in the tenths place with a th, right? It was a decimal place value. Now it has becomes in the become in the ones place. So it just multiplied by 10, okay? So now we have five. But remember this, whatever you do to the divisor, you also need to do to the dividend. So since we moved one space from left to right in the point five, we need to do the same thing for 24. Now 24 is already a whole number, so how do you know where the decimal point goes? Remember that whole numbers always have their decimal points at the end. So in 24, the decimal point is going to be at the end. That is why you don't really can, um, put in a decimal, a decimal point in whole numbers because it doesn't really count. So now what you need to do is since the, you know that the decimal point is at the end of the number, you're going to move it from one space left to right. That means you're going to be increasing the value by 10, okay? So now you're going to move one space. Now first this number was in the tens place, right? Now it's going to come in the hundreds place, but in the gap in between, you're going to have to put a zero here, okay? Now remember, zero holds a value, so it's not really going to make any difference, but it just needs to go into the um, hundreds place, right? So now our problem has become 240 divided by 5. And our original problem was 24 divided by 0.5, right? So now our new problem is 240 divided by 5, which are both whole numbers, and it's really simple to divide whole numbers. So now if I just go ahead and cancel these gaps out in between them. All right, so now we have 240 divided by 5. Now remember, we can't just do 2 divided by 5 because 2 is less than 5, so we're going to have to do 24 divided by 5. How many times is 5 going to 24? Let's find out. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25. Oh, wait. 5 times 5 is 25, but 25 is greater than 24, so we can't do 5 times 5. So that means we're going to have to go to the product that we got before 25, which was 5 times 4, which is 20. So 5 times 4 is 20. 24 minus 20 is 4. Now bring down that 0. Now you have 40. 40 divided by 5. So how many times is 5 going to 40? Let's find out. So if you keep on going in our times table, 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 7 is 35. And 5 times 8 is 40. 40 matches 40. That means 5 goes into 40 8 times. So we're going to put 8 in our quotient. And 5 times 8 is all right, 5 times 8 is 40. Now 40 take away 40 is 0. So that means your quotient equals 48. That means from your original problem, which is 24 divided by 0.5, the quotient equals 48. So I hope you guys understood this topic, whole numbers divided by decimals. Now if you want to find extra practice problems on this topic and also other topics and also further coming up topics, you can always visit our blog at brilliancesmathclub.com. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!